Hi everyone, welcome to the Burushiski classroom. My name is Farheen and I will be your Burushiski language teacher on this channel. I wanted to do this brief video today talking about Burushiski language, some of its main features and also introducing myself. So let's just jump in. Burushiski is classified as an isolated language, which means that it does not have its origins or linguistic affiliations or any kind of relationship to any other language or at least it is not proven that it is related to any other language historically or originally. It is spoken in Gilgit Baltistan, like different valleys of Gilgit Baltistan, uh, which is a region in North Pakistan. It is spoken in Hunza Valley, it is spoken in Nagar Valley, it is also spoken in Yasin Valley, though their dialects differ from each other. Okay, so one of the main uh, features that I want to talk about is that Burushiski is a spoken language rather than a written language, although there are efforts which have been made to come up with diction and grammar for the language and there is a lot of poetry that is written in Burushiski and in the recent years that has been, there has been a lot of progress especially in writing poetry. However, um, like I said, it's historically a spoken language so there are some main features that I will be talking about of a spoken language which are, which are very important for our lessons going forward because we will be mainly relying on everyday phrases and vocabulary when we learn the language going further. So one of the features of a spoken language is phonetics and phonology. So spoken languages they highly rely on sounds and intonations and phonetic variations of the language so depending on which syllable you stress on, what kind of intonation your voice is um, and the pitch and rhythm of your voice, they um, relay the meaning and they convey the meaning. Um, they express emotions and they emphasize certain words which indicates whether it's a question, whether it's a statement. Because like I said, we don't know, it's not written. So how do we know there's a question mark? Yeah. Okay, so the next um, feature is paralinguistic cues. So it also employs like non-verbal cues, which means that your facial expressions, your gestures, your body language, your eye contact and the tone of your voice, as I said before, they all contribute to conveying the meaning. And then it has non-standard grammar and informality. So I think this is the feature that I want to stress the most on because Brushiski being a spoken language, there is no formal grammar, which means that we do not have any rules that we will be following to learn the language. So we will be mainly relying on phrases, their meaning, and how do we express them through the intonation of our voice, through expressions, through our body language, through eye contact. So um, the non-standard grammar means that it exhibits a more relaxed and informal grammar. But having said that, relaxed does not mean that uh, there are no rules. There are rules, but they are not written. So um, what we will be doing is uh, we will be learning phrases, memorizing them, and then learn their meaning and learn the intonation of voice when we say. With that, I do want to tell you that there is a lot of inflections and um, endings added to Burushiski words and languages. So it just adapts to the context depending on... Um... Okay, so with that, I do want to also talk about the influence of contact languages on Burushiski. So due to the geographical location of uh, these three valleys that I mentioned, um, due to their geographical and historical interactions, Burushiski has been influenced by different languages like neighboring languages, um, which include Persian, Urdu, Wahi, English now. So you will see that when we will learn Burushiski going ahead, you will see that there's a lot of influence of English and Urdu because we use a lot of Urdu words and English words when speaking in Burushiski. We do not entirely use Burushiski vocabulary even when we are communicating with someone 
in Burushiski and we are both Burushiski speakers. So you will see that there is a huge influence of contact languages on Burushiski. And with that, you will see that Burushiski is very unique and a fascinating language with lots of inflections, lots of endings added to words and phrases and with no formal grammatical rules and it has intrigued like many linguists for years and hopefully you will enjoy this journey with me and i hope to um, try my best to teach you brushuski as much as i can and if you have any specific ideas that i should or incorporate in my lessons please comment below on my video and share with your friends subscribe and like my video thank you